Hello, in this video I am going to talk about the mirror maze challenge and the elements involved in it. So, I'm going to click on physics, uh, chapter units challenges, chapter 5 challenges, and go over to the mirror reflection maze. Um, there's a video that's missing, that's the one I'm making right now, so it'll be up when you visit the site. Uh, so the best way to describe it is to show you a student example. So here's a student sample. Basically what it involves is creating a mirror maze with flat and convex and concave mirrors uh, having an initial light source and three targets um, the initial source is going to hit the first mirror and then the goal is for you or someone else to trace the light ray as it bounces from mirror to mirror uh, making sure that the angles of incidence are equal to the angles of reflection and then hopefully ending up at one of the targets uh, some of these uh, mirrors might be uh, decoys they may not be hit but eventually it's got to hit one of the targets. Uh, in these student examples, the mirrors are not numbered, but in the ones you're going to do, I want you to number them. Not in sequential order that they're hit, but in some random order, but uh, numbered nonetheless so I can refer to them uh, when grading it. Uh, also what you're going to do is you're going to create the key for it that shows the light rays and where they hit off each mirror. Uh, and this one hits target two. Uh, a little more elaborate one is the second example here where you have an initial source ray and then there's a uh, lots of different uh, mirrors around with three targets target one target two and target three uh, these were done in pencil uh, before computers were made so you I would recommend that you do it using uh, Microsoft Word which is in the next video and then looking here at the sample you can see that the uh, that the maze is completed and it looks like it hits target three right here uh, notice for each uh, mirror that the Ray hits. There's a normal line that's drawn in. I prefer that if it were uh, that it'd be dashed, so I can uh, just be clear on what it looks like and uh, amidst all the light rays that are bouncing around. Um, so that's in a nutshell what you're going to create. The actual challenge is right here, and it details the details uh, on eight and a half by eleven piece of paper. Five mirrors you must have contact with the mirrors. You can use decoys, targets, um, and the important thing is that you're going to make a solution to it or the key so a blank one and the solution um, and turn in both and they should be perfectly superimposable so if you again if you create in the computer that's nice and easy to do and write your name on the back of the sheet uh, some debrief questions and then finally what you're going to turn in you're going to turn in the two maze diagrams um, with your names in the back and the typed answers to the debrief questions uh, no cover sheets necessary for this challenge so in a nutshell, it's practicing drawing uh, incident and reflected rays off flat and curved mirrors, both convex and concave. And uh, you are free to use your creativity to create different types of mazes and uh, with the maze finally ending up at one of the three targets. And that's a briefing on the mirror reflection maze design challenge.